Today we're introducing a new series here on CBS 3 This Morning. Starting on this Friday, we'll be airing Caitlin and Jenna's Community Connection. A few Fridays a month, we'll try out new experiences and activities in the Northland to give you an idea of what to expect for your next fun day out. This first episode of Community Connection, Caitlin and I spent a Saturday morning with an interesting herd. Take a look. <laughs> okay. It's a fitness craze from the farm and an interesting way to relieve some stress. A Duluth company spends their Saturdays saying ba ma stay with go to yoga. So why goats? The easy answer. Why not? Goats just, they make it more fun, you know, because they're, they're cute. The little ones, the babies especially, are really cute. And they, they like to wander around and get right <laughs> in front of you, on top of you. Um, they just make everybody smile. It's clearly not your typical yoga class. Connie Larson is the instructor at Duluth Goat Yoga. She says she's had to adjust her yoga knowledge to adapt to the goats, who can be distracting at times. I try to structure the classes so we do a lot more on the ground because I want people to be at goat level. Angela Abernathy is the owner of Duluth Goat Yoga. She holds her classes a few weekends a month through summer and fall. She says for most visitors, it's their first time and they usually say they're coming back. It's very rewarding to hear people laughing the whole class and you know, I'm getting really good feedback that People are just enjoying it and it was a great experience. They seem refreshed afterwards. Like they come in and they're kind of, they don't really know what to expect and they're a little bit nervous and by the end of class, everybody's laughing and having fun. Caitlin and I can attest to that. It yeah. was amazing. It was fun. I had never done yoga even at all by itself without goats. Yeah, that was a so, very much a first time experience for you. first time. A little hesitant because I didn't know what to expect uh, as kind of I think many of us didn't know what to expect. But I think they also help relax you because they're just fun. Oh yeah, there's no pressure at all because there's just goats pooping and <laughs> jumping on your back and running around. The yoga poses are simple but still physically engaging and the goats are an adorable added bonus. If you have food they let you pick them up and they're really sweet. I think they actually enjoy it as much as you do. Oh yeah for <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's a very different experience yeah. but I think it's something anyone should really try. Angela says they also do team building activities for local businesses, among other appearances. She wants to keep expanding their footprint in the Northland. Eventually, I, I want to work with like nonprofits or people with trauma because animals help people feel good. The class certainly helped us feel good. I think it was a good way to start our little series about getting out in the community and finding these unique experiences that other people can do. Definitely a great experience. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was super fun. The goats were kind of nutty, Ugh, but, but that's why it was so great. And there were so many of them, so there I were a highly encourage you to go. <laughs> yes, if you want to visit Luth Goat Yoga, you can find a link on our website. We'll have this article and this video up if you want to watch it again. <laughs> there are two classes actually tomorrow at 11 a.m. and at 1.30 p.m. And of course, there are more later this month. Yes. All right.